This is a $300 light up bow tie that GM sells for the Chevy trucks. I've always thought they weren't bright enough, so I just got it out of the box. We're gonna cut it up and see if we can make it brighter. Let's do this. So basically the gist of how this works, excuse the filthy truck, it's been, uh, has been a while since it's been cleaned. Anyway, so you take off that old bow tie. Um, it was gold, that one's just plastic dipped. And this goes in its place. You can tell it's a little bit of a different color, but it's because that's like a translucent um, smoked color with a, a, I don't know what you call it, but basically a white board behind it. And there's one little LED where that plug is, as far as I know, and that's what lights up the whole thing. So that's why it's not very bright. And then the wiring harness that comes with it, you, I think it runs to the driver's side. The uh, instructions that come with it, oh well, there, there are no instructions. It basically just says you can look the instructions up in the uh, GM service stuff. Um, this is the box that came in. There's no padding or anything. I was kind of bummed out about that, but um, these are the LEDs that I'm gonna use. Uh, so one night when I was ordering things online late at night, um, impulsively, if you will, I ordered those LED strips, and they're the LED switchback strips with the animation built into them. They were super cheap, like a couple bucks for a bunch of them. So anyway, um, I'm going to see if I can chop those up, cut the back of this, and kind of inlay them in here to where it'll light up the whole thing a little bit brighter. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll see. Uh, worst case scenario, the LED in the middle should still light up um, as long as I don't screw something up. So my plan of attack is I'm gonna uh, cut these uh, LED strips out of here. Hopefully I won't mess up the wiring and I won't have to do any soldering. And then on the back side of the bow tie, because these are, I've used these for a little other project I was messing with, but the length of them is pretty, pretty good. I feel like if I can get them out of the housings, I could put one groove there, one groove there and just slide them in and uh, maybe just fill it in with some epoxy or something like that if I can make sure everything's working right. And then theoretically, they should have a, uh, let me show you the, uh, the startup sequence thing they do. Let's see if I can do this one handed. So it's just the battery in my S2000. But anyway, um, so, all right. So one's laying on top of the other, but you get the idea. Oh, it's not, it's not connected. Hold on. All right, ready? You get the idea. Um, so hopefully the bow tie will look like that. We'll see. Okay, here we are. So I got the LED cut out of there. It's right here. It still works. Uh, I'm just gonna try to be careful with it. I immediately destroyed the other one. Um, this one here. I'm assuming I busted one of those wires loose in there. So I might, I don't know, it's just such a tiny little spot. I don't think I can solder it. <clears throat> with my soldering iron, um, but I've got a couple more of these, so worst case scenario, I'll just run through a couple of those. But now I have to figure out where to lay it on the back of here where I can recess it where it won't be in the way. So here we are after cutting that little, where is it? This strip of plastic out of the back of there. It was like that, cut it. I ended up getting my, uh, I guess it's called an oscillating saw. Um, because the little $10 Dremel, it's probably uh, better suited for a little hobby grade crap carving and stuff. Um, and this plastic was a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. So anyway, cut my straight lines, put it in there. Um, now, where is it? The LED, oh, I'm blind apparently. Uh, so now we've got our LED strip. It'll just sit, so this white stuff, it's like a diffuser I'm assuming to help spread the light evenly. I don't really care as much about that. So that's gonna sit in there and it'll get silicone or epoxy or whatever. And I'll show you on this side what it should look like when it's done. Okay, so I've got the LED kind of like wedged in there. It's not perfect because it's not, uh, I need to cut the hole just a little bit bigger, but this is the, oh come, if I can get it to. See there, it's not perfect. Um, it adjust it a little bit. We'll see. I may have gone a little overboard. Cut the whole back out of it. Um, this is the little LED right there, that little white thing. That, or there's six of them on there and they shine out and that's what gives it its color. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully I haven't completely destroyed this thing, um, but let's just keep going and see what we come up with. Okay, next update. Uh, I don't know why, but I cut a bunch more off the back. Um, 
I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you what it uh, what it looks like now that it's in there and animated. Let me hook this up real quick. Okay. Okay, so I've got the uh, positive hooked up to the battery. This little yellow wire is for a sequential turn signal. I'm not gonna use that because it would probably look silly uh, on the bow tie in the middle of the truck. Um, let me see if I can just put, pinch these together. Hold on. Okay, let's see if it's gonna work this time. Keep in mind, it's bright daylight out here right now. Damn it, it's not working. Hold on. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see. Touch the black to the, or the ground to the negative and, so keep in mind, it is like bright daylight out here right now. So, um, but that's it. I'm happy with it. Um, there's a little bit of like, plastic dust that wound up inside of it i think i got it all out that's really the reason why i cut more off of it um but yeah so i'm gonna throw this puppy on the truck and it's a good bit brighter than uh than how they come from the it's a good, it's a good bit brighter than how they come from the factory so i'm happy with it i'm gonna tweak the uh placement a little bit of the strips but um but yeah that's it i like it and then i gotta just figure out how to uh seal up the back i'll probably just use some silicone or something once i get it in the right spot but yeah that's it so here it is i uh i haven't put it on the truck yet obviously um so i played with the the spacing of the strips and moved them left and right and like kind of offset with the tips of the bow tie just to see and right in the center this was the best um diffusion that i could tell um so i took this tube of jb weld that i had the uh minute weld and um i just use all of it basically to kind of try to pot it you can't really tell um you can kind of see where it's shiny in the middle there um so hopefully that'll work i don't know if it will or not i've never used it for that before um i actually had planned on using it yeah it's already starting to harden up um i had planned on using it for something else um the brake ducts slash fog light mounts on my car which i will get to in another video i got one on the other ones in the a passenger seat it's 3d printed anyway um so once this cures that'll be tomorrow um i will probably take uh tape up the edges of it really good and then just kind of try to seal the back side with this old can of flex seal i've got just to try to make sure that it's sealed on the back side cutting off the rest of the back was a bad idea i think because um, it's not um sealed which i guess it was sealed technically before but um, I'm just going to try to seal it up before I put it back on the truck. So that will be, um, tomorrow, but, uh, overall I'm happy with it so far and we'll see what, see what it turns into. So while the epoxy is drying, I went ahead and ran the wires for the lights. Uh, I didn't think to record it. Um, but anyway, you basically, uh, you take the grill out. There's a bunch of these little body pins, uh, four bolts on the top of the grill and it just pops out. And then, so you plug the harness into the uh, headlight harness and then you basically like it splits it and then you run it i ran it between i don't know how you're supposed to but i ran it between the headlight and this body or um where the grill mounts in and then behind the grill you can kind of see right there where it sneaks up and then it runs um up in there and it clips to that piece right there you see those clips and then there's actually a hole in the middle of where the bow tie is so i'm going to wind up um cutting this and I'm probably going to just get a different kind of plug for it that way if I ever have to take it off I don't have to chase the wire all the way back to there to unplug it um, but for now um, I'll probably just kind of twist them on just to make sure everything's working it looks good and everything but we just got to wait for the epoxy to dry seal the back and slap it on pretty much and a couple wires but, uh, but yeah that's it for now so there you go that's the whole process of adding some animated LEDs to one of these light up bow ties that Chevy sells um, I'm not trying to act like I'm some cool guy because I can just take a $300 bow tie and cut it up. Um, that bow tie I actually got basically for free through the GM Rewards program because uh, I've accumulated enough points from buying vehicles and paying for service and parts and stuff over the years. So that's how I paid for that. It was free. So I wasn't really out anything if I screwed it up. 
but um, it was an easy process. The only thing I might change is I'm probably gonna add some backlighting or excuse me, I'm gonna paint the back side of it because there's a little bit of light bleed coming out from around the bow tie. Um, aside from that, it's done. So um, I'm gonna have some updates for you soon on the S2000, um, some mistakes that I made and some plans that I've got for it uh, here shortly. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, um, leave a like, subscribe if you would, it helps out a little bit. Still trying to see if I can grow the channel into something. And uh, either way, we'll see you on the next one.